Yo, Keep It Sky here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to get the best picture out of your projector. And so, we're going to go through different points to get the best picture. I'm going to show you some examples of me doing it right here in this video. So, if you guys have a projector out there right now or you're looking to get one, I'm going to show you how to get the absolute best out of your projector. So, if you have a projector right now and you want to make sure you're getting the best picture, follow these steps to get the best picture out of your projector. Now, if you want the best picture quality you can get out of your projector, whether it's a 4K projector, 4K HDR, or maybe you're using a 1080p or 720p projector, these tips are going to help you tremendously, especially if you haven't already accomplished these goals yet. And so we're going to talk about the break, break down the few tips that can really give you a really good picture out of the projector. And to start off, we're going to talk about positioning. So you can see my projector right here behind me. And I have my position just about level with the screen. You want to try to get yours to be directly um, to the center of the screen. And the reason why you want to do that is because your lens has a sweet spot. Um, it's most sharpness, it's most clarity um, right there within its lens. It's right there in the middle. So you want your light beaming straight from your lens straight to the screen as close to right on as you can. Because anytime you have it off to the left or off to the right or maybe to the top or to the bottom, you're going to have to use key stoning, which is changing the, um, the image, tilting it um, to make it fit the screen correctly or shifting it, lens shifting. And anytime you do that, you're going to take away from sharpness and clarity from your projector's lens. So you want to have it, if you can, straight on as possible with your screen so that most, if not all, of the light is going straight to that screen without having to be skewed or adjusted to make um, compensation for how high or low or how left or right your projector screen is to your projector. So when you're positioning it, mine is actually pretty straight on to my projector. And when I say straight on, I mean pretty level. So my projector is here and my screen's gonna be here. You don't want it to projector here, screen here, and you have to tilt the projector up. You don't wanna do that. Make it meet right there in the middle and you'll see that you'll get a little more sharpness and clarity back to your projector. Not only is my projector level with my screen, it's also dead center of my screen as well. So for me, I shouldn't have to use any keystone. I shouldn't have to use any lens shifting. I should be able to just point my projector straight at my screen and get the best image possible. So if your projector is cer certainly higher or much, much lower or off to the left or to the right of your screen, see if you can't move it more center to your screen and you may see a lot better clarity, especially in the corners of your picture. Now, one of the things that I've been battling with with my projector since I've had it is focusing the image and most of my image is focused but every now and then I'll see that my bottom right corner is out of focus or maybe my top left corner is out of focus or one of the corners which is some of the hardest parts of the picture to get right and for me positioning it has changed that but you also have some focusing you can do with the lens. So some, some projectors have the lens where you can physically turn the lens to dial in focus, where you may have a little a rotator at the top above the lens on the projector that can help you um, settle your focus in. And you really wanna get that correct too. Now some people say that a little bit of out of focus is good um, for movies and all, but when you put text in your corners or maybe around the edge of the screen, and it looks blurry, it's gonna become hard to read for most people. I mean, really gotta squint and see what that says. And it's gonna, it's really gonna distract you. When you read something, it, you can't help but notice that part of your image is not clear. And it's gonna bother you, I promise you. It bothered me so bad. Um, but you really wanna get that right. So go in and make sure that your focus is perfect. So turn it until it's out of focus and then turn it back just a little bit until it gets perfectly in focus and then leave it there and never touch it again. And again, it helps to make sure your positioning is right because positioning is gonna help you with clarity and sharpness as well. So if you're having an issue with focus that may be positioning may be your issue and vice versa now for those people who've had their projector for a while you may or may not know that you have to every now and then clean off that lens now you have to be careful with what you clean your lens with um, because you could damage it scratch it and that's gonna skew your light output it's gonna change the way light passes through your lens and you're gonna ultimately see that on your screen there so when you're cleaning your lens you want to use a microfiber towel same thing you want to use on your car or any other delicate surface so you don't scratch it find a microfiber towel and kind of gently um, wipe that off um, some people recommend doing circles, some people don't. I don't recommend doing circles because then you'll leave um, little lines, circular uh, lines all over the place. I kind of just gently wipe it down, um, get some of that dirt, that, dirt, that dust that um, collects over a period of time, 
get that cleaned off and you may restore some clarity in your image. Anytime that your lens gets a little bit dirty, gets a little bit dusty, that changes the way the light passes through it. You know, light's really sensitive to whatever it goes through. It kind of morphs its shape, changes the image. Um, so if you go through and clean your lens every now and then, you may see that you were missing a little bit of picture quality. It may be minute, it may be so small, you may not even notice. Just do some you know, basic housekeeping to not only enhance your picture on your screen, but to also add longevity to your projector's life lifespan. Now as far as picture settings goes, this is going to change depending on what projector you have and what resolution you're using. First and foremost, for any projector, you want to make sure that you're feeding it its best picture quality. So if you're using 1080p, feed it 1080p content. If you're using 4K, feed it 4K content. You don't want to have your projector having to upscale anything um, because it won't be native so it won't be as good as it can be. Same thing for televisions. If you have a TV and you're feeding it 1080p but it's 4K, that TV is going to try to upscale everything that it, you send it that's not 4K to 4K. And so you're not going to get native 4K, meaning you're not going to get the best picture quality, the best colors, the best sharpness. And the same thing works with projectors. Feed it its native resolution. So for me, I have a 1080p projector. So everything that I do is 1080p. I have a 4K Fire Stick, a 4K Xbox, all that stuff, and it's down converted to 1080p. So I'm getting the best, richest 1080p that my projector can possibly put out, that my screen can possibly reflect. Um, so make sure that when you're using um, your fire sticks or you're using your Blu-rays or whatever you're going to be playing on your projector, make sure that you put it to its best um, picture quality so that your projector doesn't have to do anything to the image to try to make it better. Because it makes it worse. Now if you go into your settings on your projector, you're going to have different types of picture settings. For me, I have a more basic projector, so I have a lot of basic picture settings, just sharpness, contrast, color, and etc. But you may have an HDR, 4K HDR projector that has so many different options to change color, change sharpness, contrast, brightness, whatever it could be. You may have a lot of settings, and it's best to go in there and figure out um, what's best for your projector. And for you, to be honest with you, it's kind of up to you what the best setting is, but there's a recommended setting for all projectors. Now, if you're not really familiar with calibrating your own projector, you're not sure what to look for, I've heard and I've tested that cinematic or movie mode is really the best um, to start with right out of the box. So if you have a projector you're just now getting, put it on cinematic or put it on movie and you're probably going to get the best picture um, that it can get without having to calibrate it. Now if you're more familiar with calibration, you may be able to go in there and tune it. I also recommend making sure that your brightness is not too high or your contrast is not too high or ETC and how you decide if it's too high or too low. Find a scene in the movie that you're really familiar with. And I recommend finding a, a scene, um, if you're gonna do contrast, find a scene with a, of a, a person in it, a nice um, close image of somebody's face. And you wanna really try to make those skin tones look natural. Um, so your contrast, you wanna turn it up way too high. Turn it as high as it can, and then slowly start to dial it back until that skin tone looks more um, you know, normal, um, more human I would say, not so red, not so bright where you lose detail, blemishes or whatever. T dial it down ever so slightly. Usually you want it in the high 70s, 80s range, that changes depending on um, your projector or your screen, but you want it to be around 70 something, 80 something I found, um, and you're really gonna start to get the appropriate tones for the face, the flesh. Um, a little bit of redness, if you're looking at a Caucasian person, a little bit of redness, whatever. Um, as far as sharpness goes, turn your sharpness all the way up and you're going to see this halo effect around words and objects um, and then dial that down until that halo effect is gone and then you got your sharpness set. Same thing with televisions as well for everything that I'm saying. Um, when it comes to color, that also plays a difference in your flesh tones and your vibrancy. You don't want to turn it up too much where things just look bright and unnatural. Um, I usually have my color pretty low to keep it natural, um, and I use a human face to dictate my color. I turn it up just a little bit until he becomes or she becomes too red in the face or um, you know just a little unnatural looking, and then you dial it back down until you, it looks like some, somebody that you would see in real life. Um, with my brightness, this was a tough one. You want to pick a dark scene. Um, with brightness or find somebody who's wearing some kind of jacket or some jeans or whatever and you want to turn that brightness all the way up and then dial it back down um, and you'll know when you'll hit the sweet spot whenever it's dark but you can still see detail maybe creases in the shirt or something like that and you don't want to make it too dark because in dark scenes you're gonna have a hard time seeing the shadows or seeing something that's in the distance in the dark you want to be able to see those things um, so find a scene that's dark and you want to turn it up or turn it down 
um, too much and then dial it back until you start to be able to see the wrinkles and creases inside shirts, things like that, but it's still dark and still um, easy to see. Um, so that's how you'll set your brightness on that. Your screen is going to be a big factor in how good or bad your projector is going to look. Now you want a screen that makes sense for your environment. So for my screen, I have a screen of a 1.1 gain. And what that means is how much light this pro projector screen is going to be able to reflect. Um, so for me, anything that's over a 1.0 is going to be a boost in your brightness, your overall picture. Anything below 1.0 is going to be um, less reflectiveness, less brightness in your picture. So let's say you have a 3500 lumen projector, meaning it can give you 35 lumens of light. It's pretty bright. If I have a projector that's under 1.0, then I'm not going to see the full 3500 lumens. If I have a projector that's right at 1.0, I'm going to get exactly 35 hundred lumens. If I have a projector screen that's um, 1.1 gain or 1.2 gain, I'm going to see an extra increase in my brightness because it reflects more light. Um, but keep that in mind that any light that's around that projector, it's going to reflect that too. So if you have windows nearby, recessed lights or anything next to it, it's going to reflect that light as well because that's what a projector screen is made to do, reflect light. Um, so of course it's going to reflect your projector screen light, point it directly at it, but any ambient light you have around you, it's going to reflect that too. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, but when you're getting a screen, not only does gain um, is an important factor to think about, it also um, decides how colorful your picture will be or how dark your picture will be or won't be. Um, so for example, the higher the gain on your screen, the more reflective and usually the more vibrant your colors are going to be, you're going to have a nice vivid image. Um, the darker your screen, like a gray screen, or if you get like a 0 0.8 gain, you're going to do well with blacks. You're going to do well with detail in a dark scene, but you're not going to get as bright as a screen, and you're also not going to get as vibrant as a colors. Um, and it's not going to be a huge difference, but it is a difference. So usually gray screens um, do a lot better with um, HDR or contrast or dark scenes, but they don't do as good as with overall brightness and um, colors because it's darker. White screens like this are more common, kind of gives you the best of both. You're going to get a really bright, really vivid picture, but in dark scenes you may see a gray effect, not necessarily black, because projectors can't produce a black image. It just turns off that light for that part of the screen. Um, so you're going to see, you know, a little bit of graying in that area instead of black because your screen is white. Um, so those are things to think about when you're looking at projectors and projection screens. They do play a huge factor in your picture quality. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video of how to get the best picture out of your projector. And I wanted to share this with you guys because for me, this is my first projector and my first projection screen. So of course, I wanted to educate myself the best way I could, experiment a little and see what I could get out of my projector. And I've gotten really good results out of it and I wanted to share that with those who have a projector or those who maybe want one and not sure which one's um, better, a TV or projector. I wanted to share my input and maybe I can help somebody out there. Um, so what I want you guys to do is go down in the comment section below and let me know what you guys have as advice for getting the best picture out of your projector. For those who have a projector right now, I want you definitely in the comment sections, let me know and others know how you achieved a really good image out of your projector. Was it the screen that made the biggest difference? Was it a setting in your projector that you didn't know about that really made a difference? positioning, keystone, focus, whatever it is, let us know down below in the comments so that we can get our projectors looking as good as yours. And guys, if you found this helpful or enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like, also leave that comment that we talked about, and hit that subscribe button so that I know that you guys are enjoying the content. I hope to see you guys soon. Check this guy out. Peace.